Oh, some perfect books. Perfect pets. Ginormous chalk. Let's see. Wow, they are ginormous. Open it, open it. They look awesome. Our driveway is going to be so good now. Wow, frisbees. Amazing. Wow, and look, some more toys. Oh. Say thanks to Jody. Thank you, Jody. I love my pink donuts. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jody from Illinois. Thanks for all the toys. Love them. What is it, buddy? Got some toys. You want one of those ones? Whoa. All right. Look at this, Harley. You want a frisbee? Oh, what's that one, mate? Should we go out? Where's it? Where's it? You ready? You ready? Ready to? Ready to? Awesome. Thanks, Susan from Queensland. I love the Frisbees. Good. Thanks, guys. Special mention to Maggie May watching our videos. We wish you lived closer as well, Maggie. It would be great to meet you and have a run around the farm. Uh, thank, thanks for the special toys. And thanks to Debbie for, for the balls and a little something special for myself. Really appreciate it. And Tammy, thanks very much for the small dog toys. Little Zeusy boy's gonna love this one. A little uh, Zeus size bandit favorite. Thanks guys, really appreciate it. Oh yeah, yeah he's, he, he's, he's, he's trying, but that's where it's been cut, so. Yeah. But he's, he's had a good go at it, but he's struggled. He's not getting anywhere. They're pretty good, they turned out to be all right. And um, this Can is- Can you turn it around? You can get a rubber back on, but we don't need a rubber back on, but um. So this is, this is, um, the workings of a dog that would usually turn any bed into a million pieces of fluff in one trip, so I'd say that that's a success. Tilly and Lexi's um, owner donated these to us. Um, she found a vet um, near her place that uses them. They're called a vet bed. Dogs don't destroy them like normal beds. So they, they, they try, they, they're 100% polyester, but they've tried to chew at them. Where is it? They tried to chew it. We've got some um, dogs that really have a go at these beds. Um, would normally destroy a bed in minutes. And obviously they're nice and soft because she's liking it and she's leaving it alone. So I've, I'm got a couple of more dogs to trial it on, but I'm really impressed with this. So um, Christine, this has been a, a wonder and I'm, we're gonna have to get some more of this stuff. I think it's, it's a wonder stuff. And it, Apparently it's an Australian company down in Melbourne, so awesome. when we find out the actual name of it, we'll let you know. So
So we had a tangle, which we do quite regularly. And so the line snapped. And so I'm just using a blood knot to rejoin the lines together, which is one of the best ways to join two similar diameter lines together. A lot of you anglers out there will know exactly what sort of knot this is.